wind noise isn't too bad. It's about 15 miles an hour up here tonight. It's not too bad. Anyway, very quickly, I'm going to show you another setup about what we're doing tonight. So we're looking at putting together uh, about five meters of wire to be a quarter wave on 20 and then a half wave on 10. Same sort of principle as before. Instead of 40 and 20 or something, we're looking at 20 and 10 tonight, okay? So let me show you the, uh, the setup. So quick and easy to put together. This is the, uh, the binding post here, look. As usual, just on the hot side, of course, relying on the passive grounding of the car for the, for the ground. There's the hot side. And uh, up it goes. Gentle sloper up until top there okay and uh, there it is that's five meters of wire so we're going to use that as a bit of a slope bell 20 meters and uh, then later to see if we can work anything on 10 with the half wave and fed half wave transformer instead golf 5 tango mic portable Thank you, Germany 5, Tango Mike Portable. Roger, roger. Good afternoon, my friend. Okay, the Germany 5, uh, Tango Mexico Portable, my friend. Italy, Washington 0, Hotel Lima Zulu. My name is Roberto. Roger. Okay, Roberto, name here is Tim. Tango India Mike, you're 59. No problem, Roberto. QSL. Okay, my friend. Okay, thank you. The 58, 58, you, you report in the hall. Germany 5, Tango Mike Portable. Uh, Tango Mike, please, Tango Mike. Thank you. Golf 5, Tango Mike Portable. Golf 5, Tango Mike Portable. Good evening, 59. 59 as well. Name is Tim. Tango India Mike, 73. Thank you very much, Tim. 73, Germany 5, Tango Mexico Portable. Calling CQ and standing by. Uh, 59, it's very, very strong signal. It's good modulation. The name is Mickey, Mexico, Italy, Kilo, and Italy. Mike, big deal. Oscar Hotel 3, Golf Zulu. Yes, Oscar Hotel 3, Golf Zulu, you're 57. Name is Tim, Tango India, Mike, over. Uh, hello, Tim, good evening, you're 59. It's Delta Bravo 2, Sierra Kilo, QRP, 55, 5 and 5 with QSB, QSL. Good evening, Delta Juliet 3, Tango Hotel, thank you, you're 57, 5 and 7, QSL. Delta Juliet 3, Tango Hotel, good afternoon, my name is Thomas, my QTH Leipzig in Germany, you report is 57. Tango Mexico is so portable, good evening, you can find both is also 5 by 5. So uh, we've done 20 meters, not too bad. Uh, made a few contacts, band's pretty lousy. Very, very staticky. Uh, a bit of DX heard, but um, I just call it CQ and just work basically around Europe, which is okay, you know. Sorry about the light in the corner of the screen, by the way. Let's move it this way. I had one at the back. Anyway, enough of that. Um, we're going to have a go now at putting the NFED half wave transformer on, still the 16 feet of wire, 5 meters, have a go at 10 meters. My theory here is that this antenna is now going to prove to be long on 10 because the, the loading effect of the NFED, NFED even half wave transformer. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. Anyway, let's give it a go. So, interestingly, the SWR is about 3 to 1 on 10 meters, but on 12 meters, that's where the sweet spot is, 24.9. It's about, it's flat, it's one, it's one to one, 1.1 to one. It's a great SWR, I thought the whole of 12 meter band. So clearly there's some end loading here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move the transformer to the pole to see whether the the lack of extra ground does anything. Um, if it, I mean, we'll see what happens there. But that's interesting, isn't it? That actually the end loading effect of the transformer, I think, gives us a slightly longer antenna than what we bargained for. So quarter wave on 20. But it's actually a half wave on 12, which suggests actually electrically it's a five point. What is that? What is a half wave on 12? It's about nine and a half feet. That's a quarter wave, sorry, about 19 feet. So what's that? It's got to be heading towards six meters long, isn't it? So electrically, it looks like it's about 50 to 80 centimeters long, something like that. Anyway, let me have a look. I'll um I'll try and make this QSO first, which should be fun. And then I'll move the transformer to the pole, see if it does anything. Uh, you're a 5 and 
So interestingly enough, I uh, moved the transformer to the pole. And would you believe it, the antenna is even longer now. So it's actually got a workable SWR at around 20. It basically, it's under 2 to 1, uh, below 12 metres, down to 15 metres. So what do you do? Obviously, there's an end loading effect with the transformer, which is interesting. So you need to cut the wire that bit shorter. Uh, certainly not to the, the textbook length for a half wave when using the transformer. Different when you're using uh, like a, um, a flower pot T to LT design like I've used before. That's that's basically on the money in terms of the half wavelength, uh, but not so uh, when you use a transformer like that. But certainly with a, a 56 to one, or a, in this case, or a 49 to one. So there we are. Interesting stuff. So good results on 20 meters anyway. The bands are rubbish, but we got out, made plenty of contacts, enjoyed it, and uh, so there we are. A uh, quarter wave on 20 metres and a half wave on 12. Who knows? All part of the fun of experimentation, folks. 7-3, we'll catch you again on another one. And uh, thanks for watching. All the best to you and take care. Bye-bye.